Hi, you are watching Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. This is a video lecture about instantaneous and dynamic systems. These two types of systems will be discussed here. Here, here we will see the basic concept. What are these instantaneous and dynamic systems along with the exam. So first of all, let's start with instantaneous system. A system for which the output is a function of the input at the present time only is known as the instantaneous system as we know that instantaneous means at is instant at a moment so in case of instantaneous systems these are the systems where the output is a function of the input at the present time only we will see how this happens uh, with the help of examples how it is uh, dependent only on the present inputs the output is dependent only on the present input okay so these instantaneous systems as they cannot hold memory therefore they are also known as memoryless systems or the zero memory or without memory systems as they do not hold any information about the previous inputs or outputs the output at present time depends only on the present values of the input one very common and uh, simple example of this uh, instantaneous system is a resistor because a resistor's equation is given by, by Ohm's law, Vt is equals to Rit. So in a resistor, voltage at any time is equals to the multiplication of the resistance and the current at that time, current flowing at that instant of time at which we want to calculate the voltage. Okay, so this is an instantaneous system. It is a memoryless system. Further, we will see in this lecture that capacitor is a dynamic kind of system. It has memory. Okay, we will see it later. So here are few examples of this uh, instantaneous systems. These four examples are given here. First example is yt is equals to 4xt plus x square t. As you can see here that uh, if we just uh, to check it whether it is instantaneous system, just put the value of t here. So output at y uh, output at uh, suppose put uh, t equals to two here. So y two is equals to four x two plus x square two. It means output at the moment t equals to two is equals to the sum of the four times of uh, input at x two plus x square of two. Okay. So the output at instant two is depending only on the values of the input at t equals to 2. Similarly, in this case also, yn equals to 7xn. Here, put any value of uh, n. And this is the example of continuous time and this is for the discrete time. Okay, n represents discrete values. So, here we will put some value and, uh, and we will see that y at any instant is dependent on the input at that instant only okay we will see how uh, this is different from the uh, dynamic systems where the output is dependent on the previous values of the inputs and outputs okay previous and future values and present values of the input okay we will see it later so in the same way uh, you can check all these terms all these equations that output at any instant is dependent on the present value or the current value of the input now let's discuss the dynamic system so what are dynamic systems the output of a dynamic system depends on the present past and future values of the input and also on past values of the output while in case of instantaneous uh, systems the output was dependent only on the present value of the input but in this case the output is dependent on the all the three values like uh, i mean uh, in the present past on the present past and future values of the input the input that we apply at the current moment and that we have applied in past and the also on the future values that will be applied to the uh, system it depends on all these along with the past values of the output the past output that we have uh, obtained in the system also affects the present output of the system so this is known as a dynamic system it is also known as uh, because of its property it is also known as uh, a memory system or system with memory 
or non instantaneous system because it is uh, retaining the values of the it is depending it is output is depending on the previous values of the inputs and also on the previous values of the output along with the future and present values of the input so it is uh, retaining some information about the systems previous outputs and inputs so it is a system with memory it is a system with memory it is not memory less like instantaneous okay i hope you got the concept now let's try to understand it further in a better way with the help of some examples as i told you earlier that capacitor is an example of uh, a dynamic system because the voltage current equation for capacitor is given by vt is equals to 1 upon c integral 0 to t i t dt this is the equation v is voltage c is capacitance t time i is current you know and uh, in this uh, way you can uh, see that the voltage at any time instant t suppose at any instant uh, uh, t is equals to 1 upon c integral the summation of the integration of the current is starting from 0 to at that time it means the previous values the past values of the current okay the voltage at any instant at current time is dependent on the past values the integration of current is taken here is given here so it is depending on the past values of the current that we have applied to the capacitor so it is a dynamic system it is uh, uh, holding some information about the previous current and its output that is a voltage is dependent on the, on the previous inputs okay another examples these are uh, another four examples are also here let's check them one by one y t is equals to 2 x t plus x t minus 4 here put some value you know, for example to understand it let's take here value y equals to 2 so y 2 is equals to 2 x 2 plus x t t uh, t is 2 here 2 minus 4 is minus 2 so output of this system at instant t equals to 2 is dependent on the input applied at instant t equals to 2 plus the input also applied at x minus 2 that is at t equals to minus 2 put 2 here 2 minus 4 is minus 2 so it is depending on the past value that is the input at this 2 moment output at the moment t equals to 2 is also dependent on the uh, input applied at the same moment and also at t equals to minus 2 similarly this is uh, quite similar to this example of capacitor uh, as it is its output at any instant t is dependent on the summation or the integration of the values from the minus infinity to that moment okay if it is 2 then uh, from minus infinity to 2 this will be integrated okay summed okay so it is uh, retaining the values it is having the memory uh, so it is a memory with memory system or dynamic system similarly you can get this okay and uh, if you want to understand this let me explain it to you that why at any instant suppose uh, put um, uh, you can expand it like this summation x n it can be written as uh, n is varying capital n is varying from minus infinity to n uh, so put these values so it is uh, y n is equals to x minus infinity start from minus infinity put values of n from minus infinity to n the x minus so x minus infinity uh, and uh, up to you can get it easily x minus 1 plus x 0 plus x 1 up to x n so output any output at any instant uh, n is uh, depending on the values of the input that we have applied from minus infinity and the summation of all these minus infinity to that instant at which we want to find the output that is n so it is a memory system it is a system with memory or dynamic system so as we have discussed that uh, the dynamic systems store information about input and output values at time other than the present time while instantaneous uh, systems do not do that okay they retain the value they do not retain the value actually they just uh, depend only on the present values of the input so i think you understood the concept in next videos we will see other things like uh, causal and non-causal systems stable and unstable systems and other concepts also so keep watching engineering made easy for more videos and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you can get 
the notifications of my latest uploaded videos as soon as I release. So click on the like button and if you liked it, share it, share the video and you can ask your queries if you have any in the videos comment. So, see you soon in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Friends, for more such videos, you can uh, subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can uh, visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye bye.